It is Sunday the 15th of December and uh, it's time to hit the road again. I'm back here in Christchurch where I spent a couple of days uh, but today we're going to try and tackle Arthur's Pass. I've already made one attempt on Arthur's Pass and it was thwarted by a landslide. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Christchurch. I'm not expecting it to stay sunny. I think rain is sadly going to be a factor today but um, really it's time to jump aboard Betty and continue this journey. Well, these mountains are definitely starting to look spectacular now. You see we're just on this arrow straight road. Uh, these are the plains of Canterbury. And um, yeah, it's very, very flat between Christchurch and the mountains. We're heading towards the Otira Gorge. Otira is um, where I had to stop and turn around the other week because I couldn't get through because the road was blocked. Um, so um, I'm going to go and visit that crazy hotel again, I think, just for the sake of it. But um, hopefully it won't be full of Italian motorcyclists this time. Uh, but yeah, this is starting to look very spectacular indeed. Oh yeah, that's getting dramatic now. Let's push on, Betty. Oh my gosh, a vehicle! Don't judge me. Oh, we're definitely starting the climb now. Uh, this is looking very impressive. Uh, not quite as impressive as the flag coming out the back of whatever's towing this caravan. Jeepers. That is filthy. Oh wow, we've got a lot more of this. Um, it's still 60 kilometres to Arthur's Pass. So we've got a good section through the mountains here. And the step wagon there. Yes, it is step wagon with less valves. This is quite the spot. Castle Hill, apparently, very big with the tourists. Uh, yeah, quite remarkable. We are in the middle of the mountains at the moment. Blimey. So, very straight road, very long as we make our way through the mountains. Sadly, the peaks really are disappearing into the clouds now. We are um, getting quite high. Outside temperature is down to 12, according to the car. Still, I'm appreciating this a lot more than I did coming through Lewis Pass the other day because it was so wet, but it, there really wasn't much view at all. I can still see more than I could that day. And I would have been so, so depressed to have left South Island without seeing views like this. Even though the views could be better, could be a bit less rain, um, I'm still, yeah, very lucky to get to see this. Here we go then, that's the end of um, Arthur's Pass Village. We are now heading up the pass. I'm turn my traction control off because uh, this car in the rain is just hopeless and the traction control is quite a basic traction control so all it does is completely cut engine power which means you end up just not being able to accelerate at all it just sits there spinning the wheels so um, I shall try some throttle feathering if it comes to it but you can see how close the um, rock face is to the um, road or probably you can't from that angle but believe me it's very close so you can see why um, a landslip would very quickly close this road more one-way bridges and I can't see the other side that's useful sure how scenic the scenic lookout is going to be given it's um, raining and cloudy. Oh wow. Oh 
this is amazing. here and show you. Yeah, look at this. And uh, I wonder if that could have been one of the landslips. You can see where there's a bit of a net to try and stop the debris falling on the road, but it's rather backed up. Uh, I don't fancy its chances. Oh gosh, it's cold. to Betsy, Betty, rather, come on Betty, oh. Nine degrees now, oh, chilly. Quite an interesting bit of road, this is. It feels like we did most of the climbing the other side. I think the climbing is steeper going back the other way. Gosh, even in the rain and cloud, this is still a dramatic landscape. Where unexpectedly you might find a Nissan Murano. And here we go, we made it. We're down the other side. This is Otira. Uh, so, um, a little bit early for lunch, which is a little frustrating. Um, but I'm going to go to that hotel again anyway, see if they've got the um, pies, maybe. Most interesting cafe and hotel. Uh, if you've seen my previous video of failing to get across um, Arthur's Pass, you'll know that to be entirely true. this Dragon and uh, Ford Model T, just to prove the fact. So yes, this is the most interesting hotel and cafe. Uh, Betty is parked over next to a Subaru Legacy B4, uh, Morris 8 bug eye here with the, the extra buggy bit, and uh, Suzuki Samurai uh, off-roader, but a quite remarkable location. So this is where I stayed, um, well this is where I met all those crazy Italian bikes and, and yeah there appears to be a penny farthing as well, I'm not riding another one, um, but yeah it's quite an interesting spot. And of course I didn't get to show you last time because it was absolutely torrential rain, which um, was not much fun. Nice Isuzu truck here with a good old clap hand wipers and a, a spare door in case one should feel the need. Oh, and the giant pig. So a week and one day later, here we are again, driving away from the um, hotel. Last time we were trying to desperately find a way to get over these mountains. But today the hard work is done. We are the other side of the mountains. And it feels like the adventure is back on. It's not really been going anywhere for a week. When I had my second visit to Christchurch, but now we're off and we're going to go further up the west coast. So I was planning to do both Arthur's Pass and the Lewis Pass, just not quite that way round. Um, nonetheless, that's where we are. And I, I was so, so lucky. Um, hopefully I captured it in previous videos, but uh, I very nearly got trapped on the west coast. Um, I left Franz Josef and later that day, a huge landslide took out a piece of road while further down the coast, more landslides had caused havoc down there. So Franz Josef was entirely cut off from the world. And uh, it took several days for them to establish an escape route. So that was a bit lucky, really. Um, 
Franz Josef was quite an interesting place, but uh, I don't think I wanted to get stuck there more than a day, really. And we're back on State Highway 6. We are on the west coast. Uh, the sea is over that way, uh, but don't worry, you're not missing anything. I can't see it either at the moment. We made it to the west coast, but by heck, it's um, lively. I uh, wasn't expected to get quite that close to the west coast, but um, nonetheless, here we are. So, um, yeah, it's um, still extreme over here, it seems. So I shall say, thank you very much for watching. There will be further updates um, from New Zealand. And, um, yeah, we'll see what the west... Hello, dog. We'll see what the west coast has to offer. Random dogs, apparently. Uh, see you in a future video. Right, let's hope I don't actually get stuck on the beach because that would be quite embarrassing. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, I am. Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> I have some experience of getting vehicles unstuck um, so um, that was close but no cigar but I do give way to cyclists